Depression Symptoms and Warning Signs How to Recognize Depression Symptoms and Get Effective Help The normal ups and downs of life mean that everyone feels sad or has the blues from time to time. But if emptiness and despair has, have taken hold of your life and won't go away, you, you may have depression. Depression makes it tough to function and enjoy life like you once did. Just getting through the day can be overwhelming, but no matter how hopeless you feel, you can get better. Understanding the signs, symptoms, causes, and treatment of depression is the first step to overcoming the problem. What is depression? Sadness or Downswings in mood are normal reactions to life struggles, setbacks, and disappointments. Many people use the word depression to explain this, this kind of feelings, but depression is much more than just sadness. Some people describe depression as living in a black hole or having a feeling of impending doom. However, some depressed people don't feel sad at all. They may feel like lifeless, empty, and apathetic, or men in particular may even feel angry, aggressive, and restless. Whatever the symptoms, depression is different from normal sadness in that it engulfs your day-to-day -day life, interfering with your ability to work, study, eat, sleep, and have fun. The feelings of helplessness, hopelessness, and worthlessness are intense and unrelenting, with little, if any, relief. Are you depressed? If you identify with several of the following signs and symptoms, and they just won't go away, you may be suffering from clinical depression. You can't sleep or you sleep too much. You can't con concentrate or find that previously easy tasks are now difficult. You feel hopeless and helpless. You can't control your negative thoughts. No matter how much you try, you have lost your appetite or you can't stop eating. You are much more irritable, short-tempered, or aggressive than usual. You are consuming more alcohol than normal or engaging in other reckless behavior. You have thought that life is not worth living. Seek help immediately if this is the case. What are the signs and symptoms of depression? Depression varies from person to person, but there are some common signs and symptoms. It's important to remember that these symptoms can be part of life's normal laws, but the more symptoms you have, the stronger they are, and the longer they have lasted, the more likely it is that you are dealing with depression. When these symptoms are overwhelming and disappealing, that's when it's time to seek help. Signs and symptoms of depression include Feelings of helplessness and hopelessness, a bleak outlook. Nothing will ever get better and there's nothing you can do to improve your situation. Loss of interest in daily activities. No interest in former hobbies, pastimes, social activities, or sex. You have lost your ability to feel joy and pleasure. Appetite or wet changes. Significant weight loss or weight Again, a change of more than 5% of body weight in a month. Sleep changes. Either insomnia, especially waking in the early hours of the morning, or oversleeping, also known as hypersomnia, anger or irritability, feeling agitated, restless, or even violent. Your tor tolerance level is low, your temper shorts, and everything and everyone gets on your nerves. Loss of energy. Feeling fatigued, sluggish, and physically drained. 
Your whole body may feel heavy, and even small tasks are exhausting or take longer to complete. Self-loathing, strong feelings of worthlessness or guilt. You harshly criticize yourself for perceived faults and mistakes. Reckless behavior. You engage in escapist behavior, such as substance abuse, compulsive gambling, reckless driving, or dangerous sports. Concentration problems. Trouble focusing, making decisions, or remembering things. Unexplained. Aches and pains, an increase in physical complaints such as headaches, back pain, aching muscles, and stomach pain. Depression and suicide. Depression is a major risk factor for suicide. The deep despair and hopelessness that goes along with depression can make suicide feel like the only way to escape the pain. Thoughts of death or suicide are a serious symptom of depression, so take any suicidal talk or behavior seriously. It's not just a warning sign that the person is thinking about suicide; it's a cry for help. Warning signs of suicide include talking about killing or harming oneself, expressing strong feelings of hopelessness or being trapped, and unusual. Preoccupation with death or dying, acting recklessly as if they have a death wish, for example, speeding through red lights, calling or visiting people to say goodbye, getting affairs in order, giving away prized possessions, tying up loose ends, saying things like "Everyone would be better off without me" or "I want out." A sudden switch from being extremely depressed to acting calm and happy. If you think a friend or family member is considering suicide, express your concern and seek professional help immediately. Talking openly about suicidal thoughts and feelings can save a life. If you are feeling suicidal, when you are feeling extremely depressed or suicidal. Your problems don't seem temporary; they seem overwhelming and permanent. But with time, you will feel better, especially if you reach out for help. If you are feeling suicidal, know that there are many people who want to support you during this difficult time. So please reach out for help. Read "Feeling Suicidal" or call one eight zero zero two seven three. Talk in the U.S. or visit befrienders worldwide to find a helpline in your country. The phases of depression. Depression often looks different in men and women, and in young people and older adults. An awareness of these differences helps ensure that the problem is recognized and treated. Depression in men. Depression is a loaded word in our culture. Many associate it, however, wrongly, with a sign of weakness and excessive emotion. This is especially true with men. Depressed men are less likely than women to acknowledge feelings of self-loathing and hopelessness. Instead, they tend to complain about fatigue, irritability, sleep problems, and loss of interest in work and hobbies. Other signs and symptoms of depression in men include anger, aggression, violence, reckless behavior, and substance abuse. Even though depression rates for women are twice as high as those in men, men are at higher suicide risk, especially older men. Depression in women. Rates of depression in women are twice as high as they are in men. This is due in heart. In part to hormonal factors, particularly when it comes to premenstrual syndrome, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, postpartum depression, and perimenopausal depression. 
As for signs and symptoms, women are more likely than men to experience pronounced feelings of guilt, sleep excessively, overeat, and gain weight. Women are also more likely to suffer from seasonal affective disorder. Depression in teens While some depressed teens appear sad, others do not. In fact, irritability rather than depression is frequently a predominant symptom in depressed adolescents and teens. A depressed teenager may be hostile, grumpy, or easily lose his or her temper. Unexplained acts and pains are also common symptoms of depression in young people. Left untreated, teen depression can lead to problems at home and school. Drug abuse, self-loathing, even aversible tragedy such as homicidal violence or suicide, but with help, teenage depression is highly treatable. Depression in older adults The difficult changes that many older adults face, such as bereavement, loss of independence, and health problems, can lead to depression, especially in those without a strong support system. However, depression is not a normal part of aging. Older adults tend to complain more about the physical rather than the emotional signs and symptoms of depression, and so the problem often goes unrecognized. Depression in older adults is associated with poor health, a high mor mortality rate, and an increased risk of suicide. So, Diagnosis and treatment are extremely important. Postpartum depression. Many new mothers suffer from some feeling form of the baby blues. Postpartum depression, in contrast, is a longer lasting and more serious depression triggered, in part by hormonal changes associated with having a baby. Postpartum depression usually de develops soon after delivery, but any depression that occurs within six months of childbirth may be postpartum depression. What are the types of depression? Depression comes in many shapes and forms. The different types of depression have unique symptoms, causes, and effects. Knowing what type of depression you have can help you manage your symptoms and get the most effective treatment. Major depression. Major depression is characterized by the inability to enjoy life and experience pleasure. The symptoms are constant, ranging from moderate to se severe. Left untreated, major depression typically lasts for about six months. Some people experience just a single depressive episode in their lifetime, but more commonly, major depression is a recurring disorder. However, there are many things you can do to support your mood and reduce the risk of recurrence. Dysthymia, recurrent, mild depression. Dysthymia is a type of chronic low-grade depression. More death than not, you feel mildly or moderately depressed. Although you may have brief periods of normal mood, the symptoms of dysthymia not, are not as strong as the symptoms of major depression, but they last a long time at least two years. These chronic symptoms make it difficult to live life to the fullest or to remember better times. Some people also experience major depressive episodes on top of dysthymia, a condition known as double depression. If you suffer from dysthymia, you may feel like you're, you've always been depressed or you may think that your continuous low mood is just the way you are. However, dysthymia can be treated even if your symptoms have gone unrecognized or untreated for years. Bipolar disorder, when depression is just one side of the coin. Bipolar disorder, also known as manic depression, is 
characterized by cycling mood changes. Episodes of depression altern- alternate with manic episodes, which can include impulsive behavior, hyperactivity, rapid speech, and little to no sleep. Typically, the switch from one mood extreme to the other is gradual, with each manic or depressive episode lasting for at least several weeks. When depressed, a person with bipolar disorder exhibits the usual symptoms of major depression. However, the treatments for bipolar depression are very different. In fact, antidepressants can make this bipolar depression worse. Seasonal Affective Disorder When winter brings the blues, many people feel sad when summer wins, but some actually develop depression with the season's change. Known as Seasonal Affective Disorder, this form of depression affects about 1% to 2% of the population, particularly women and young people. SAD seems to be triggered by more limited exposure to daylight. Typically, it comes on during the fall or winter months and subsides in the spring. To combat SAD, doctors suggest exercise, particularly outdoor activities. During daylight hours, exposing yourself to bright artificial lights may also help. Light therapy, also called phototherapy, usually involves sitting close to a special light source that is far more intense than normal indoor light for 30 minutes every morning. The lights must enter through your eyes to be effective. Skin exposure has not been proven to work. Some people feel better after only one light treatment, but most people require at least a few days of treatment. And some need several weeks. You can buy boxes that emit the proper light intensity. 10,000 lux with a minimal amount of ultraviolet lights without a prescription but it is best to work with a professional who can monitor your response. There are few side effects to light therapy, but you should be aware of the following potential problems. Mild anxiety, jitteredness, headaches, early awakening, or eye strain can occur. There is evidence that light Therapy can trigger a manic episode in people who are vulnerable. While there is no proof that light therapy can aggravate an eye problem, you should still discuss any eye disease with your doctor before starting light therapy. Likewise, since rashes can result, let your doctor know about any skin conditions. Some drugs or herbs, for example, St. John's words, can make you sensitive to light. Adapted with permission from Understanding Depression, a special health report published by Harvard Health Publications. Depression causes and risk factors. Some illnesses have a specific medical cause, making treatments straightforward. If you have di- diabetes, you take insulin. If you have appendicitis, you have surgery. Depression, however, is more complicated. Depression is not just the result of a chemical imbalance in the brain, and is not simply cured with medication. Experts believe that depression is caused by a combination of biological, psychological, and social factors. In other words, your lifestyle choices, relationships, and coping skills matter just as much, if not more so, than genetics. However, certain risk factors make you more vulnerable to depression. Causes and risk factors for depression Loneliness, lack of social support, recent stressful life experiences, family history of depression, marital or relationship problems, financial strain, early childhood trauma or abuse, alcohol or drug abuse, 
unemployment or underemployment, health problems or chronic pain. The cause of the depression helps determine the treatment. Understanding the underlying cause of your depression may help you overcome the problem. For example, if you are depressed because of a dead -end job, the best treatment might be finding a more satisfying career, not taking an antidepressant. If you're new to an area and feeling lonely and sad, finding new friends at work or through a hobby will probably give you more of a mood boost than going to therapy. In such cases, the depression is remedied by changing the situation. The road to depression recovery. Just as the symptoms and causes of depression are different in different people, so are the ways to feel better. What works for one person might not work for another, and no one treatment is appropriate in all cases. If you recognize the signs of depression in yourself or a loved one, take some time to explore the many treatment options. In most cases, the best approach involves a combination of social supports, lifestyle changes, emotional skills building, and professional help. Ask for help and support. If even the thought of tackling your depression seems overwhelming, don't panic. Feeling helpless and hopeless is a symptom of depression, not the reality of your situation. It does not mean that you are weak or you can't change. The key to depression recovery is to start small and ask for help. The simple act of talking to someone face to face about how you feel can be an enormous help. The person you talk to doesn't have to be able to fix you. He or she just needs to be a good listener. Having a strong support system will speed your recovery. Isolation fuels depression. So reach out, so reach out to others even if you feel like being alone or don't want to feel like a burden to others. The truth is that most people will be happy that you cho chose to confide in them. They'll be flattered that you trust them enough to open up, so that your family and friends know that you're going through and how they can support you. Make healthy lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes are not, a way, are not always easy to make but they can have a big impact on depression. Lifestyle changes that can be very effective include cultivating supportive relationships, getting regular exercise and sleep, eating, unhealthfully, eating healthfully to naturally boost mood, managing stress, participating, practicing relax, relaxation techniques, techniques, Challenging negative thought patterns. Build emotional skills. Many people lack the skills needed to manage stress and balance emotions. Building emotional skills can give you the ability to cope and bounce back from adversity. Trauma and loss. In other words, learning how to recognize and express your emotions can make you more resilient. Seek professional help. If support from family and friends, positive lifestyle changes and emotional skills building aren't enough, seek help from a mental health professional. There are many effective treatments for depression, including therapy, medication, and alternative treatments. Learning about your options will help you decide what measures are most likely to work best for your particular situation and needs. Effective treatment for depression often includes some form of therapy. Therapy gives you tools to treat depression from a variety of angles. Also, what you learn in therapy gives you skills and insight to prevent depression from coming back. Some types of therapy teach you practical techniques on how to reframe negative thinking and employ beha behavioral skills in combating depression. Therapy can also help you work through the roots of your depression, helping you understand why you feel a certain way, what your triggers are for depression and what you can do to stay healthy. Are antidepressants right for you? Medication can help relieve the symptoms of depression in some people, 
but they aren't a cure and they come with drawbacks of their own. Learning the facts about antidepressants and weighing the benefits against the risks can help you make an informed and personal decision about whether medication is right for you.